Hey, how you doing? How you feeling? How's it going? Now, I wouldn't be me if I didn't drop the videos back to back, back to back. I said I wouldn't be me if I didn't drop the videos back to back, back to back. Oh, go ahead, get your tea, your lemonade, your Kool-Aid, your wine, your whatever you like, so we can go ahead, kick back, relax, and have a whole vibe. I am Lynn, Restore Love. I'm outside, and I be turned up. No, I mean, I'm not outside, outside, y'all. I'm currently in, indoors. But I'm saying, like, your girl is stepping out my comfort zone. Like, I'm stepping out my comfort zone, and... I'm embracing me. I'm embracing Lynn. And if you don't like me, cool. I'm all right with it. But y'all, we've been having it going. And if you didn't watch the last video, I encourage you, go back and watch the video before this so you can um, understand, get more understanding, which is not that hard to catch on. I mean, come on now. But anyways, um, so I just been saying, or I just been putting it out there, like your girl is stepping outside her comfort zone. I'm letting my hair down. I'm tapping into my femininity. Like, I'm tapping into my goddess, the, the, the goddess, the, the empress that I am. Like, I'm tapping in. And when I say I'm loving it, like, it, it's amazing. I mean, it's teaching me to remain on the frequency that I am. It's, it's teaching me to continue to reach up, continue to look up, continue to press on. But at the same time, I can say your girl have challenges where it be like, whoo, you know, it be that roller coaster that just be like, Lynn, now what have you done? Oh my God, Lynn, you know, like, and I say that because um, the type of surrounding or the type of people that I grew up around, I grew up around, around, um, People that was in survival mode, folks that were just existing and surviving and, you know, doing what they had to do to keep a roof over their head or doing what they need to do so they take care of their kids or, you know, doing what they need to do just to survive and make it. And I always told myself, I'm not, I ain't, I'm not living it like this. I'm not allowing myself to live like I'm just existing and live like I'm in survival mode. I'm in survival mode. When you gonna ever live? Like, when you gonna ever be able to let your hair down, kick back, relax? Like, when you gonna ever be able to enjoy the experience of life? And see, that's the thing. Like, a lot of us, we get caught up in making the money. We get caught up in, you know, doing what we trying to do to please our mother and father or our grandparents or whomever it is that we feel like is so important. But I've learned that I matter. And I just want to tell you, you matter. Like, look, all respect to your mama, your daddy, your grandma, your grandparents, or whoever raised you or whoever you look up to, whoever it is that you idolize. That's your business. But as far as myself, like, I've learned that I matter and how I feel, how I think, what I want matter. So I shouldn't put them and their thoughts and how they feel before myself. Why would I do that? Why, why should I do that? Why should I put your dream, your vision, your thoughts before my own? You know, and that's why I that's why I say all the time. It's so important to know you. It's so important to know what you want. Where you trying to go, what you'll put up with, what you won't put up with. Because if you don't, you will follow what mama said, daddy said, grandma said, or whoever it is that you idolize. You will follow what the music industry is putting out and think that that's the go-to. When really, it's not. It's, it's not being naked. It's not getting booty shots. It's not you know, getting breast implants. It's not being plastic. It's not getting on the table and getting cut up to lose weight. It's loving you. It's putting in the work. It's doing what needs to be done to embrace you. Now, hey, that's your business. You know what I'm saying? If you want to take shortcuts, if you feel like all of the rest of that is just it, 
That's your business. That's that's your business. I'll knock you. But for Lynn, it's a no. It's it's a no for me. It's a no because for one, cheaters never win. And when you start something fake, it's gonna forever be fake. I don't care how real you try to make it, it's fake. So I just wanna say like Know you, know what you want, know what you like, know what you like to do, and put you first. Put you first because you can have a girlfriend, you can have a wife, you can have a husband, you can have whatever. And if you are always putting them before you, it's going to come a time, it's going to come a season where you're going to be so irritated or so miserable that you're going to start making the people around you miserable. And, and your energy is going to be so negative because really and truly, the things that they want, you don't want. The things they like, you really don't like. So I just want to tell you, don't pacify nobody. Don't pacify nobody and put them before you. Because if you do that, sooner or later, you're going to be miserable. You're going to be unhappy. You're going to be stressed out. You're going to be hating the life you're living. And you're the one who's doing it. See, I had somebody tell me one day, you choosing this. The life that you're living, you're choosing it. The, the decisions that you're making, you're making these choices. You're making this decision. So if you don't like your life, who, who can you really blame? You? Because you're putting up with these people. You're allowing yourself to go through this experience. You're giving yourself this headache, this stress, this pressure. Why are you doing this to yourself? And when this person said this to me, y'all, it was like a whole volcano, a whole bomb went off in my head. And I had to ask myself, why am? Why am I doing this to myself? And I had to really realize that I felt like I owe my people something. I feel like I owe the folks that I love, the folks that I cared about. I feel like I owe them something. I wanted to show them I care about you. And since I care about you, I want to do this. I want to do that. Since I care about you, I want to go on and beyond. But then I learned, like, oh, hell no. We we got cut ties. Oh, hell no. We got to draw some boundaries. Oh, hell no. It's a no for me. And when I started saying, no, I'm good, or no, I'm not doing that, or no, and I really found my voice, I can tell you that people start looking at me real strange. Folks start, you know what I'm saying, getting very distant. And you know what? It was the best day of my life. It got good for me because um, it just, it made me really realize, like, I don't owe you nothing. And you don't owe me nothing. And when I started really saying no, or when I started really creating boundaries and sticking to them, I can say my life, it's been lovely. Like, it ain't been perfect, but it's been lovely. It's been nice. It's been where, like, I can't tell you the last time I had a headache. That's, that's how peaceful my world has been. Like, I can't tell you the last time I cried a tear where it was just like, well, besides my brother, you know, where it was just like, I give up on life. Like, I can't take this. It's just too much. I can honestly say that I sleep peaceful at night. Like, I sleep like a baby. I be, I be out. And it's good. Like, it's so good. So, no, have your voice. You know what I'm saying? And know what you want. Know where you're trying to go. Reach for the stars. And hold yourself to a certain value. Like, value you. You got to value you. Because the more you value you, the people around you, they going to know you mean business to where they ain't even going to bring you some stuff. They going to be like, man, we ain't. You go talk to her. You go talk to her. You know what I'm saying? Like, People will send you a text message <laughs> because, like, they already know they on some bull crap. You know, so, excuse me. I just want to say, like, love you, embrace you, be you, enjoy you, and live your life for you. 
do it for you and the more you do it for you you your life will take off i'm not for everybody you're not for everybody we're not for everybody but just right for somebody oh